Allez, salut tout le monde, on se retrouve pour continuer notre aventure sur Ken Follett. Et on repart tout de suite dans le chapitre numéro 9 qu'on avait euh, juste entamé. Alors, donc on était rentré au château de Winchester. Et on devait, il me semble, ben voilà, aller à la maison avec notre frère. Ali, there's someone here. Maybe it's father. Do you think so? Well, they must have put him somewhere. Euh, bon bah, bah, on va frapper, hein. Good, dans le doute. Who is it? It's Percy Hamley. Hide. Oh, What? I'm going to chop off your hand if I find you, bastard. Shut up. Get back okay. inside now. Don't ever let anyone see you lose your temper like that. We don't know who's part of the court yet, so be careful, be polite, make an impression. They all need to see you dance with the king every day until he's made you an earl. I saved him from Bartholomew's rebellion. Shouldn't that be enough? Give them a reason and they won't make you earl. That cannot happen. They took our house. Okay. They really took our house. Well, we'll have to sleep somewhere else then. I can't believe it. Come now, before anyone sees us here. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Première porte. Ah oui, c'est vrai que Trouver un abri. Bon alors, il y a... On va aller voir à l'église. Il y a une taverne. Cathédrale. Ouais, il y a plein de trucs. Oh. Oui, tchac, 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 tchac. Maison. Ah. Father, may we come in? I can hear someone. Ok. Hello? We're lost and looking for shelter. They don't seem to want us here. Tant pis, on va aller voir à la taverne. Oh, il y a trop de trucs. Hein. Oh là 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 là. On va aller là avant. Ah, C'est la même. Okay. <rire> It's so quiet. Shouldn't the monks be preparing evening mass soon? D'accord. Là, on a. Ah. On va aller voir l'hôtel de la monnaie. It's all locked and barred. Bien fermé, okay. They don't want strangers walking in at night. Il y a une maison juste en face. Ali, this is pointless. Oh. There must be one kind soul in this town. What is it? Oh, ah. uh, good evening. Um, we're sorry to disturb you. But my brother and I have been through a lot and desperately need shelter for tonight. Hmm. Please. Wait here. Are you mad? Do not let them in. They're thieves. Non, non, on n'est pas des voleurs. What did I say? Oh. Oh non. Non, il avait l'air cool lui. Ok. Il y avait une. Euh, je crois qu'on l'a pas faite la taverne. Oh. There's a warm corner in the back. You can have a blanket, but there will be nothing oh, yes. to eat. Je le savais. Euh. Quoi, accepter, bah les couilles. Hein. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a kind man. Super, on a trouvé un abri. Ok. C'est quoi ce délire Il est parti. Non, il déjeune. When I woke up that morning, I was alone. Ouais. I hoped that Richard had risen early, maybe to go to the castle. I left to search for him right away. D'accord, donc on est parti à sa recherche. Trouver Richard. Richard. Okay. That old man had quite a bit of fight in him, I heard. They whipped him for days. And when it was over, he just asked for a mug of wine. Didn't beg, but asked, hurry up, I'm thirsty. Like it was some kind of feast or something. Makes you wish he was still on our side. What a shame. Ok, il y a un autre groupe de nobles. Pff, ouais, bon, ils vont pas nous aider, je pense. Ah, mais il est là-bas. On our way here, we had to stay at an inn. They made us eat peasant yeah, food. Okay. Cruel, not a pinch of meat. Isn't that a... Ok, mais il est là, en fait. <rire> 
trouvé Charlie. You heard me now move along. Get out of my way, guard. Every citizen has the right to petition the king. But the poorer sort are generally not foolish enough to exercise that right. What are you saying? You're talking to the son of the Earl of Shiring. I'm his daughter. If you don't let us pass, we'll have you locked away and make you rot in a dungeon. Like your father, you mean? What? You know where he is? Of course. And you should too, if you're who you say you are. He's in the jail right here in the castle. How, How do we get there? Go left before the gate and cross the yard. You'll need to talk to the jailer, though. His name is Odo, and he's got deep pockets. Deep pockets? Well, you lower sort cannot expect any favors for nothing. Better get used to it, if you want to survive. Now, clear the way. There are people who want to see the king. D'accord. I could have done this on my own. Just like you could have run away on your own, without telling me anything. Shh, hush, Ali. The people are watching us. Don't you ever do this again. I'm sorry. I thought I could talk to the king before you woke. You did so much yesterday. I didn't want to wake you. Please, don't be cross. It's all right. You were just trying to help. Oh, don't give me that look. Sorry. Shall we go and see father now? Yes. Bah yes. Hello. Okay. Je sais déjà plus où il a dit. C'est génial. Non, 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 je voulais pas. Well, they aren't allowed. Okay. Oh, we'll je... let's come. Je... Okay. Bartholomew. Pam, 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 pam. Toi, tu veux... Ah, vers les geôles. Il se dépêche, l'autre, là-bas, là. Did you like what you saw, mistress? Of course not. But my husband seems to be in good health. I hope it'll stay that way. I hope so too, but you know, nowadays good food is just so hard to come by. Oh, you're so kind. That'll help to keep him fed for a while, surely. Take good care of him. I'll be at the market. Will do. Good business, mistress. What are you staring at? Your ear. You should take better care of yourself. Hey, gros, c'est parce que j'ai traversé, hein. What was that all about? I don't know, but we have our own problems. So come on. Allez, moi je veux lui parler. Um, uh, are you the jailer? Your humble servant. What is it? We're, we're here to see our father. He is the Earl of Shiring. Is he? Look like just plain Bartholomew to me. So he's here. Look at us when we're talking to you. How much have you got? We've nothing. So don't bother asking for a bribe. Then you can't see your father. Sorry. Oh là là, lui. Laissez-nous le voir maintenant. Je vous apporterai un. Okay. <laughs> Quitte cette femme. Ouais, je, je veux le voir. Please, let us see him now. Sorry, can't make an exception. Each time someone wants to see someone, they have to pay. That's the rules. But they're your rules. Right, but that doesn't make them any less rulesy, does it? Ooh, la, 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 la. Must have been dozens so far. Each one slipping me a penny. If I let you in for free, the others might think I treated them unevenly. That I am an unjust man. <laughs> Can't have them think that, can I? Okay, I'll give you a penny. But bon, he wants. I'll get a penny, and I'll bring it to you as soon as I can. But won't you let us see him now, just for a few moments? Get the penny first. Cast it on. Shouldn't be too hard. One of you must be worth something. C'est qui? Um, who was that woman? That'll be two pennies. What? Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> That's Meg, 
Her husband tried to trick a fellow merchant out of his purse. Ah, si con que ça Wasn't good at it. Now he's lost everything. Then where does she get all her coin? She took over his business, works as a merchant at the market. Funny that she still cares so much for him. I wouldn't. Bon ben merci, au revoir. Hein. How is he? Just tell me that, please. Is he all right? No, he's not. He's dying. Oh putain. Now get out of here. Il nous faut un penny. Are you crying? Didn't you hear what he said? Yes, but he was lying. The last time we saw Father, he was very much alive and healthy. Sometimes I wonder what is going on in that head of yours. So how are we going to get a penny? We could beg. Beggars usually ask for food or clothes. I never heard of anyone giving them money. Well, how do people get money? The king gets money from taxes, lords have rents, priests have tithes, shopkeepers have something to sell, craftsmen get wages, <laughs> and peasants don't need money because they have fields. Apprentices get wages too. So do laborers. We could work. But Ali, I can't work like a common man. I'm the son of an earl. Not anymore. You heard what the jailer said. We're no better than anyone else now. Okay, okay, okay. I have to find something to do. 32, 33, 34... I could use a new pouch, but no. Are you sure this is right? We just need to Don't find out where to go. Don't patronize me, Meg. I just want to be certain. Okay. See? You've nothing to worry about. Your business will be in good hands. Excuse me, mistress. Oh, I've seen you before. You're going to see someone in the jail, right? It's the only explanation why they'd let you enter the courtyard dressed like that. That wasn't very nice. What is it? The jailer refused to let us see our father unless we paid him. Could you offer us some work? Do you even know what business I'm in? Wool. This is a wool stall, isn't it? And what do wool merchants do? Sell wool? No. <laughs> well... Yes, in the end we do, but first we buy it from the peasants. The peasants bring the wool and the Flemish take it away. All I have to do is store and transport it and get the prices right. And that okay. is cheaper if it's done alone. With some minor help from me, that is. <laughs> Could you lend us some money? Unlikely. What for? We need to talk to our father. He's a prisoner in the castle's jail. And the jailer won't let us see him until we give him a penny. Once you get back to him, it'll be two pennies at least. What are you saying? Once Odo sees that you really want something, he'll start overcharging for it. In the end, he's just another businessman. At this rate, we'll never see Father. Could you help us talk to him? Ah, uh, sorry, but no. Uh... Ah, vous ne pouvez pas lui demander ça. Oh, sûr, oh, what were you doing at the jail? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to pry. You know, my husband is a prisoner as well. He used to run this business, but he was caught selling underweight. Now I have to travel to Flanders and tell my husband's agents that they don't need to worry. Okay, okay, Leaving okay. my entire business in this man's hands. A wise decision. A man whose calculations leave a lot to be desired. <clears throat> I tell you what, I will give you enough to pay Odo if you help us count the fleeces inside. Do you know ah, how to count? Voilà. I told you my calculations are right. There are 23 sacks. Yes, we know how to count. Then go into my stall and tell me how many there are. Thank you so much. Okay. Come on, Richard. Let's do this together. Super, on va compter. Oh putain, on doit pas compter. Euh... Oh là là. Six. Oh non. Ok. Trois. Nine. Dix. Thirteen. Fourteen. Twenty. Tac 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 tac. Seize. Dix-sept. Dix-huit. All right. 
I got it. 21, 22. I'll tell you when you're done. 22, logiquement. Non, 22. Vingt-deux. Mais non. Vingt-deux, voilà. Bon, allez, c'est bon. Nickel. How many have you got? Twenty-three. Non, 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 non. Uh, are you certain? I think so. Non, 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 non. C'est 22, c'est 22. Please, count again. What? Why? To make sure you were right the first time. Only if you do that too, Ali. I will. Je l'ai fait déjà. Il y en a 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Allez, ça part. 16. Ouais, Don't voilà. rush me. Si, si, c'est bon. I'm still counting. Putain, il est que je l'ai pas compté là. So? Hmm. Still 23. Non, 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 t'es une bite. Moi, ouais, je l'ai compté lui. Attendez, une dernière fois, une dernière fois. Please, count again. Je peux pas me décaler, moi, là. Ah, ok, bon, 1. Um, um, this time it's 22. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22. Ouais, bon, c'est bon, c'est sûr. Allez, And... ça part. I'm not counting anymore, Ali. I'm certain it's 22. Voilà. Donc, Let's count them then. Le refaire. We're done. Good. So, tell me. 21. <laughs> 22. All in all, there are 22 sacks of wool in there. Tell me again, Aldous. How much did you pay per sack? As I said, for mixed quality such as this, it was one pound average. One pound per sack? Ah, selling wool is good business. With the coin you have here, this means... I'm right. We're one sack short. The children miscounted. No, no, no. It seems everyone miscounts apart from you. Quoi? Here's your coin, girl. You confirm my own calculation, so I'm giving you more than what you asked ah, for. What are you okay? Super. If you're smart, you'll find out what Odo wants more than money. Then he might not ask for so much. What would that be? Let's just say he likes to feel like a good person every once in a while. It makes him feel less like the monster his job has made him. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, well, well, and good thanks. luck in Flanders. It'll be all right. You really gave them money? I can do with my coin whatever I like, unlike you. So ça don't marche, follow my example. Marche. I won't. Bon, bah c'est bon. Laine. Il y a tant de laine. Hands off that cart. We just loaded it. Ah, ok. Quoi? Nya, 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 nya. Quoi, j'ai eu de la laine C'est bon, là, je peux retourner au jaule. We mustn't be waiting. Non, non, non. C'est bon, on s'en va d'ici. Euh... D'accord... Ah ben, oui, voilà. Ah ben, il faut aller là. Ah 
Allez mon gars. On a tes petites pièces, tes petites piscettes. Oh, il a plus de jeux sur les bras que sur la tête lui. Le dos, ça doit être les multiples de audio. Card. Ok. Mmh. Allez hop. Here. Well, that's one for you. Quoi? It'll be two pence if your brother wants in as well. Are you mad? Hop là. I didn't expect that from you. Why not? Un homme juste. Ouais, je pensais que c'était un homme juste. I thought you were a decent person. Well, I... I am. But I'm also a very funny bloke. We're just fooling around ah. with you. Okay. You can get in for free, of course. Gratuitement. Ah oui, non, mais, euh, je Have fun seeing your father. Merci, gros, gros, gros poilu. Ok, il y a des petits rats. Oh là, il est pas bien. Who's there? Oh là 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 là, il est mal en point. We're fine, Father. Don't you worry. We've been living in the castle. Matthew has been taking care of us. But you you can't live there anymore. By no. now, the king has probably made that dumb oaf <coughs> Percy Hamley, the Earl. <laughs> but where's Matthew? Why ah ben, isn't he with you? Il est mouru, hein. Bah, je vais lui dire. He was killed by the Hamleys. No. But they did us no harm. <coughs> Then, what happened to your ear, Richard? It's nothing but a mere scratch. Father, we have to ask King Stephen to release you. No. I swore an oath to King Henry. <coughs> Princess Maud and her sons will rule. I shall not swear allegiance <coughs> to Stephen, and neither will you. Okay. Even if the other parents did. <coughs> Do you hear me? Yes, father. Stephen is not our king, not... Not mine, and not yours! <coughs> Il est pas bien là. Il est au bout de sa vie. Please, Father. Please, calm yourself. 
Ok, bon, bah... Ah, tu m'étonnes, tu es en terre, gros. De That's what you hear. Give father some. Je veux bien, gros, mais... Ah, un petit piché. Ça marche. Hop, hop. Euh... Ah ouais, une écoute comme ça. Hein. Ouais, c'est bon, ça marche. C'est un bois. Thank you, children. Mais un pichet à côté de lui, non When the Hamlet brought me here, I hid 50 peasants. On a belt under my shirt. <coughs> I gave that belt to a priest. Fifty? What priest? I don't know his name. <coughs> I gave him the belt and demanded that he keep it safe for you. <coughs> he was near the west gate. Euh, que ferons-nous après What about after we get the money What should we do Your aunt Edith lives in the village of Huntley on the road <coughs> to Gloucester. You are to go there. Richard, you will be a squire to her husband, Sir Simon. You will learn The arts of knighthood. <coughs> Aliena, you will... You will be lady-in-waiting to Aunt Edith until you marry. Okay, What about well. you? <coughs> I will die in this cell. It's horrible. We won't let you. You will. And before you leave, I want you both <coughs> to swear an oath. We can't leave you like this. You can, and you will. Richard, pull out your sword. Oh la 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 la. <coughs> Now, put your hand on the hilt. My son, swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints <coughs> that you will not rest until you are Earl of Shiring and Lord of all the lands I ruled. I swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints that I will not rest until I am Earl of Shiring and Lord of all the lands you ruled. Now you, Aliena, <coughs> swear by Almighty God and, and Jesus Christ and all the saints <coughs> that you will take care of your brother Richard <coughs> until he has fulfilled His vow. Je ne peux, je ne veux pas plus Richard, mais je ne peux pas te laisser ici. What? I... Ali, this isn't a game. Okay, 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 okay. Ça marche. C'est bon. I swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints that I will take care of my brother Richard until he has fulfilled his vow. Now, you need never come to this place okay. again. No, don't, don't say that. <coughs> you have promised to rebuild what we have lost. Today, I will confess my sins Pray for my soul.
No. Go. Ok, bon ben. Bah. Allez, on s'en va. Richard. Richard, we have to go. We have to go. Guard! Open up! Allez, dépêche-toi là. On se barre, tant pis. On va devenir compte. Bon ben voilà. Euh, trouver l'argent. Ah oui, putain, il a dit que c'était où déjà Je sais pas quoi, ouest, euh, oh putain. Percy Hamley, Bishop Whaleron. Good morning. T'es. Ah oh non. Ali It's them. Over there. The Hamleys. Gros, ils sont à deux mètres. Again, thank you for your assistance in Kingsbridge, my son. We have to thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Right, Mother? Of course. Well, don't just stand there. Walk out with me, but very calmly. We can't let them see us. Oh, children, pardon me. Ah. It's not Potol, you. Now we're only missing one more. Here he is. Oh, putain. On est recherché. Ali! Ali! Those horrid people are about to talk to the king. We knew that they would, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. Father was right. They are all tied together. The Hamleys, the king, even the church. Do you think Father's priest is also in on this? Well, we'll have to find him first. Then uh, we'll forcément know. Ce -là. Bon, moine. Oula. Bon donc faut faire gaffe. Alors, porte sud, je crois que c'est porte ouest hein, donc c'est doit être lui. Uh, excuse me. Oh, more pilgrims? How wonderful, brother Bernardus. Does that mean we can now depart for the cathedral of Saint Swithin? Praise be, since Swithin will heal my foot. Oh! Pan my eyes, Brother Bernardus. Praise be. But we're not pilgrims. We are looking for a priest our father met right here, at the West Gate. It was about three weeks ago. Sorry, my children. We only just arrived here. We okay. are here to visit the shrine of Saint Swithin. Surely Saint Swithin will help you with your ear, my boy. Praise be. Oh! Oh! I'm so happy my foot is going to be all right. Can you see other pilgrims already, Brother Bernardus? Not yet, Brother Peter, not <laughs> yet. <laughs> Trop marrant. Ok. Ah, oh, look at that handsome young man. Oula, c'est qui? Ah, uh, good day, my ladies. So well spoken. And look, he even has a battle scar. <laughs> <gasps> like what you see, handsome. You can ride two of us, young lord, if you can pay. Oh. Uh, have you seen a priest? I just, Our I... father met him here at the Westgate. He owes us money. Oh, you're talking about him. That's where he got all that money. <laughs> what? He even paid for Mary's dress. He didn't want to at first. All she had to do was stroke his bald head. Where is the priest? What's his name? Don't know his name. But he's a regular at that one inn. Okay. The boar, close by the north gate. Smells like piss there. Shall I teach you, love? How to fuck a man. Or a woman. You can make a fortune with that little mouth of yours. But in a year, you'll look like me. Ah, ils sont horribles. Beaucoup d'argent. The boar. C'est ici. Là, il y a les gardes. 
Donc déjà, il faut que je passe par là. Ah ok. <rire> ah mais c'est bon, ça va passer comme ça, donc c'est bon, nickel. Hop là. Normalement, c'est bon. This is the place, but it looks closed. Um, excuse me. We're looking for a priest who stole our money. Word is, he comes to this place regularly. A priest? Uh, I... <laughs> Sorry, dear children, I... I didn't seem to be able to recall anyone... Uh, <coughs> anyone who fits that description. But that little stable boy might know. He knows everyone who comes and goes. Ah, uh, Ilu. Oh, where can we find him? When he's not working at the war, he's doing small chores around town. Okay. He's always busy, the little chap. Where's the green cap? It's horrible, I tell you. <laughs> D'accord. Ah bah celui là-bas. Okay. Donc. Je vais passer par là, hein. on va assurer le truc. Non, non Et ben comme ça. Juste là. T'as le marché les surveiller. Ok, c'est bon. C'est ce que tu as quand tu travailles avec Halfwits. Comment je suis censé mettre cette barrel Si c'est trois fois plus lourd que moi. On va t'aider, on va t'aider. Très impressive. Thank you for that. I'm always telling them, if you want me to restock your kitchen, don't let them cram the browns to the brim. So, what was it you wanted to know? Um, do you know a monk who frequents the boar a lot? The boar? I used to work there. The boar, the lazy mare, and two private kitchens. You're talking about Father Ralph. Thought the women had sucked him dry, but he always comes back with more money. But he only spends it on beer and ladies. Never has a tip for me. <sighs> Where can we find him? He's a priest at St. Michael. One of them churches round here. Which one is it? It's close to the East Gate. But don't look for him inside. He likes to light around in his back alley. Oh, thank you. You've been very helpful. Pleasure. See you around. L'église, l'église, l'église. C'est ça l'église Wow, oh, chaud. Donc normalement pour y aller, il n'y a pas de garde. Ah bah, on peut même passer par là. Ah c'est lui, ok. Are you Father Ralph? What if I am? Does that mean yes? I guess so. He's the only monk around. What do you want? Well, I am the son of Bartholomew, the Earl of Shiring. So? Our father mm, gave right. you money for safekeeping. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh la lui. Oh la la. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Now piss off. Okay. You're about to commit a great sin. If we don't get that money, we'll starve. Start begging for arms, then. You may not know it, but a lot of people live that way. So you're saying there's no money? Right. But my father said... Your father lied, then. We should talk to the sheriff. <laughs> It'll be my word against the word of a jailed traitor. And now give me some peace. I'm hungry. He's right, isn't he? Il nous faut une preuve de son mensonge. Ouais, t'es un compte. Look at him. He's just a bitter old man. He's no match for you. I can't just rob him. Then make him obey you. Be the one in charge. You're supposed to be an earl. Act like one. Ali, I don't know how. People don't respect us anymore. Ouais, vrai. It's all right. Ouais. I'll take care of it. Ouais. Ok, 
qu'il ait peur de nous. Ouais, ouais, je vais le faire peur, moi. Mais nous juste children. Why would he? Ah, c'est une blague ou quoi Bon bah écoute, euh... une preuve. We need proof that he's lying. Like what? Maybe something he recently purchased that a monk couldn't normally afford. That's smart, Ali. And then? I don't know. Okay. At least we'll be sure that he's lying, right? On peut l'accuser. Euh... Chercher. Keep an eye on him. I'll have a look around. Ok, ok, ok. Il veut pas m'aider à porter le tonneau. It's too heavy. Ok. Air. Ben voilà, mais. Hey. Oh, is this yours? Oh, I didn't think a poor monk could afford something like this. Hmm. <laughs> Maintenant, je peux le retourner. Prendre. Okay. Richard, I found it. Oh no! He took all the money. What now? Agresse-le. Don't pretend you didn't see, Monk. I found this under your barrel. You are a thief. That strap proves nothing. You seem very certain of this. Sheriff! Hush, you stupid brats. Allez, beam. The sheriff is a bastard. He'll take everything for himself. But first, he'll take your hands. Sheriff or no sheriff, you won't get your money. Ali, this isn't going anywhere. Well, at least we know now that he won't call for help. Donne-nous l'argent. Give us the money. It belonged to a traitor to the crown. By giving it to me, he paid his debt to God. We will make you pay, you monster. You wouldn't hurt a man of the church. This is said for la grace. I warn you, I have friends nearby. Ah. If you scream, I will show them your beer soaked belt and tell them what a thieving liar you are. You wouldn't harm me. Mettre le couteau sur le cou. Euh, ouais, d'abord il va garder l'allée. Richard, you go over there. What? Why? Make sure no one's watching. Allez hop. He? What? You're Allez. a devil. I'm going to cut out your eyes one by one. First the left eye. No! Oh, oh please don't! Voilà. Where's the money? Here, here, I got it on me. C'est tout. Putain, quel fils de pute. Where's the rest? Gone. Gone where? I spent it. Quel bâtard. I'd cut off your ear if I could sell it for a penny. Let's take what we've got and go. Ugh. All right. I may come back one day, and then I'll collect what you owe us. Ouais. On va se souvenir de lui. You were wonderful, Ali. You scared him after death. Yes, well, now, come on. Father wants us to find Aunt Edith. Ah, ok, on s'en va direct. Bon. Bah écoute. Euh... Ok, il faut aller tout là-bas. On the road to Gloucester, my feet started to bleed. I remembered a cobbler who lived nearby in the town of Haystead who could sell us some boots. 
but taking the detour would cost us both money and time. Bah ouais. Est-ce que ça sert vraiment On va essayer d'y aller directement. In the afternoon, the sky darkened and the temperature dropped drastically. We considered setting up camp to allow us an opportunity to warm our worn down feet. However, we were already running low on food and would okay. soon need D'accord. Donc on continue. Richard had been silent for a while when I offered him our last piece of bread. Uncle Simon will make you a knight, I said. But wouldn't I have to fight for King Stephen then? He answered, taking a bite out of the dry crust. I watched him for a while, then turned away, wondering how difficult our lives had become and how infinitely more complicated. Hey, oui. In the hills, there are a lot of poor small holdings. We asked a shepherd for directions to Huntley. It's just down the road, he answered. I thanked him and gave Richard a hopeful push. Okay, okay. On y est là, c'est normalement. Ok, pas du tout. C'est quoi ce délire It's all burned and rotting. Bah ouais. Auntie and Uncle must have left some time ago. Putain, alors. Maybe they built their new home nearby. A proper one made of stone. Oh, la galère. They always had coin enough for a stone house anyway. Bon. Ils doivent avoir une maison. Quelque part, la viande. Maybe this isn't even the right house. It is. How would you know? It, it's been a long time since we came here with father. These houses all look alike. Shut up, Ali, please. They're huh. gone. Probably killed. Whatever happened to them? We will never find out. It's over. There's no place for us to go. Mais si. Don't give up. Mm. We will get. Okay, okay, okay. So what? As you guess. Donc, une charrette. Nous sommes peut-être bientôt de retour. Bah ouais, parce que... Ah oui, non, c'est n'est cru, ok. Donc on va dormir là ce soir. Mais est-ce qu'il y a quelque chose à aller voir à gauche ou je sais pas trop où, là Non, ça a pas l'air. Allez marcher. Peut-être qu'on va les trouver. Ah bah t'es le berger. Oh, good day again. Good day. Huntley is just down that road. You can't miss it. I know. We just found out that the people we've been looking for aren't there anymore. Oh, that's a shame. C'est tout. Do you know what happened to the owners of that burned down house down the road? It's not Simon you're looking for, is it? Why, yes. A while ago, some knights came to his house, nasty bunch. Oh, Burned non. it down, said he was part of some scheme against the king, like his brother, the Earl. What happened to Simon and his wife? To know, haven't seen any of them since. I understand. Oh, Thank la, you. La, la, la. Il fait quoi? What are you doing? Needs to be done by nightfall, otherwise I won't get them to Winchester tomorrow. Why are you asking? We were supposed to live here with our uncle and aunt, but since they're gone, we need to find another way to get by. 
My voilà. prayers are with you. On peut... Ouais. Tourne les moutons, laissez-nous transporter votre laine. N'importe. Euh... Ah bah oui. We could take the wool to Winchester for you. You could stay at home and look after your wife while we sell your stock. Well, that would be kind of you. But I couldn't trust you to negotiate the right price and bring the money back safely. Oui. What if I bought the wool from you? You'd get the money right now and wouldn't have to go to market anymore. And whatever more we can negotiate will be the pay for our travels. Well, that's an interesting thought. But for that to work, you would need to buy my entire stock, and I doubt you have coin for that. Now let me get back to work. The sun will set soon. C'est combien, c'est combien? Excuse me? Sorry, but I'm not selling. Not for a price you would be able to pay. Sérieux? Si je fais ça. How much for one sack? Just name your price. One and a half pounds. Euh... <rire> Allez, on va respecter la qualité. I want to see the wool first. All right, have a look. Let's see. Huh. These fleeces are quite thin. I put the cheap ones on top, in case of rain. Mm, the ones deeper down don't look that much better. <laughs> well, I couldn't wait for the wool to grow any thicker. My family is hungry and weak. I had to shear my sheep early this year. All right. Okay, mais du coup, je t'en propose un peu moins. Euh, ben un quart. I can give you one pound and sixty pence. Mmh. Eh. C'est plutôt bien. Well, all right. Throw me the coin. I'll finish shearing old Mabel here, then bring out the rest I've got. Maybe you also want to talk to the other shepherds around here. They might want to sell too. Ah, all right. Thank okay. you. By the way, there is a man looking for you. He came by just shortly after you. I told him you went to Huntley. What man? Dunno. Brown scruffy hair, beard, black horse. Could be he rode right past you. That old hut is not uh... easy to find. Shall I give him a message if he turns up again? Tell him we left Huntley for good. <gasps> I will. Now let me get those sacks for you. <laughs> I wonder what Richard will think of this. I should have involved him with my decision. Ah, bah, écoute, hein. Allez, on va le voir. What did we do wrong, Ali? Why is God punishing us? <sighs> we will get through this. If we came this far, we'll get even further. We just need to stay strong and be patient. But there is nowhere for us to go. We're commoners now. Commoners who never learned to do common work and... We both swore an oath to Father. If we don't get the Elden back, we will go to hell. We could become wool merchants. What do we know about wool? We know from Meg that a lot of shepherds complain about their walk to Winchester. What if we did that for them? And what about me becoming a knight? Uncle Simon's not the only one who'd take you as a squire. If we collected enough money, we could pay another knight to teach you. It might work. Right? We've had some bad luck till now, but surely not everyone is a fiend. It'll take some time, but we should be able to gradually increase our income. All we need to do is have a lot of patience and pray to God. <gasps> oh, putain. Richard! Lord Hamley caught me riding the horse you stole from him. Ah! 
He told me before I take you back, I can have some fun with you. Ah, quel bâtard. Ah oh, tu le, tu le. Bim. Get away from him. Ah Allez, dégage de là. Nickel. Richard, Richard, are you all right? What happened? <laughs> oh, you're alive! <laughs> you're alive! Why are you crying? <laughs> because... Because we are both alive. Ah, uh, c'est beau. Looking back, we'd been lucky that his bones hadn't been broken, and that his ear had healed so quickly after we had burned out the wound. Otherwise, I'm not certain my brother would have survived the attack in Huntley. Once he could walk again, we gathered the few things we had and headed out, counting our blessings and preparing to build ourselves a new life. Ok, donc on est marchand de laine en gros. How's your wound doing? Don't worry, I'm fine. May I ask what you're planning to do with all that wool? Peut la vendre. Mind showing me a piece of your stock? I'd like to establish the quality before I make any promises. Thank you, Fuzzy. Come on, I need to check the quality. I won't take. Oui, 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 je... Hmm, not bad. That's quite some wool you've brought along. I hope you're not planning to set up shop here too. Meg would kill me if I let you. Uh, ouais, je veux juste vendre, moi. We came to sell this wool to you, not to compete with you. It comes from the shepherds near Huntley. They gave it to me so they wouldn't have to come here themselves. I see. All right, I'll give you a pound per sack for this. What? Uh, only a pound? <laughs> ah, that's a fair price. <laughs> but I paid more for this. I'd sell at a loss. Hmm. How much did you pay? One and a quarter pounds per sack. It was almost all I had. The rest I had to spend on the cart and the toll at the gate. <sighs> Then you let yourself be overcharged. To sell what? It. I can't pay for your mistakes, can I? You have to handle that yourself. Ali, let me handle this. Je vais laisser parler. Your money would not only pay for the wool, but also fund our fight to reclaim our elder. If you pay us more, I shall never forget that courtesy. I will greatly repay you once I'm back in charge of Shiring. I may even allow you sole access to our own wool production. That's a lofty promise. And it would hardly cost you. So, you two are the son and daughter of the Earl of Shiring? We are. But you're just children. We will make coin, and I will become a knight fighting for glory and honor until the king grants us back our noble inheritance. <sighs> that may all be very well, but I can't pay you more than what I already offered. Then I'll prove that the wool's quality is worth the price. Just let me look at it once more. <sighs> uh. Okay. Ce 
c'est qui les flamands <rire> euh, Je veux bien, mais... Est-ce que... Attends. Quel est son problème Bah ben ouais, lui, il est trop sympa. C'est le frérot. Bon. We've got to work out what signifies high quality. Maybe if we remember what the shepherd said. It's from a good breed of sheep, they said. What else? Um... And other wool looked greasy, not ours. It's dry, light and soft. The wool is pretty strong too. It holds together well. That's all I remember. Yeah, me too. C'est déjà pas mal, hein? Hmm. Okay, c'est bon. Okay. Have you thought it over? Vanter les qualités de la laine. Ça, ouais, je veux vendre ses qualités. Oh putain. Solide, je crois. Some sheep produce brittle fiber, but this wool is strong. Its sheep had good, healthy lives. Hmm. Hmm. It's suitable for finer and durable fabrics. Eh oui. Elle est... Euh... Elle est propre. Wool is often full of grease and dirt. But this batch was scoured very thoroughly. It's very clean and soft. Mm. Mm. Even picky customers would be delighted. That is true. In this weather, some cartloads of wool would arrive damp. I made sure that this is dry and undamaged. It's light and easy to transport. Mm, and customers are hesitant to buy wet wool. All right. What pricing did you have in mind? Au moins un livre et demi. Non. Euh... <laughs> Je vais être raisonnable. One pound and ten shilling per sack then. <sighs> I tell you what, I'll give you one and a quarter pounds no, for no, every no, sack. No, 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 no. You've brought up some good arguments. Your wool is exquisite. Of course it is. Ah, but not a penny more. All right? Ben non. Ça va pas. Je payé un livre et quart. <laughs> That's not enough. I want one and a half pounds. Well, you're not getting that. Or would you prefer to get one pound after all? Putain. All right. I accept your offer. Oh là là. J'aurais dû dire deux livres. Thank you for your business. We've done it, Ali. Well, we've received as much as we paid. But at least I negotiated a better price. I know why Meg likes you, Ali Aina. You're just as ruthless as her. Don't be so hard on yourself. Uh My friend, Milius, says that a good bargain needs a lot of foresight and experience. Can I help you? Forgive me, I didn't mean to barge in, but you are the Lady Aliena of Shiring, are you not? Uh, yes, what I am. And I'm Lord Richard, our Bartholomew's son. My name is Philip of Gwyneth. I am the Prior of Kingsbridge. Ah, oh, I've heard of you. You helped a lot of people after the Hamleys attacked my father's castle. We only did what was right. I met your father. My father knew many people. Not all of them were his allies. I know. I'd like to invite you to come to Kingsbridge. Our own wool trade has fallen somewhat into neglect, God forgive, but we have plenty of sheep. I am sure we could come to an agreement. You want us to be merchants? But, but I sold at a loss. You wouldn't work for me. You would work with me. I can see that you are not afraid of hard work. I don't know a single novice who would have been willing to pull a cart like that on his own. You may have made losses, but that only means there is more to learn for you. My friend, Brother Milius, would be delighted to speak with you. He always goes to markets for our priory. What do you say? I'll well, consider it. Please, do consider my offer. You will be most welcome in Kingsbridge. It is the least I can do. Thank you, Father. Not much later, I found a home in Kingsbridge. 
Mais normal. C'est le frérot. I remember when I got there, there was Jack. Ah oui. You. I remember you. You're the boy with no father. Actually, I have two fathers now. Is that so? Yes. Tom Builder and Jack Sherberg. Trop bien. And then the days just went by. Little did I know that the best and the worst was yet to come. Nickel. On a fini le chapitre 8. Je croyais que c'était le 9. Ok, autant pour moi. Donc on a fini le chapitre 8. Alors on a fait beaucoup de choses dans ce chapitre. Vous avez frappé... Ouais, ouais, ouais. D'endroit, enfin, ouais. Serment. Dernière fois. Chaque sac. Ben ouais, on a été pas mal. On a fait un tas de trucs. Ouah, wow, 5 ans plus tard. Ah ouais, quand même. <rire> D'accord. So, you have returned from Rome, Bishop Waleran. Yes, it was a very illuminating time. What do you want? The Pope was very pleased to hear how I and you have worked together in the past to support our king. We did not do it for your church. He was less pleased, however, to hear about the bargain you struck with the Prior of Kingsbridge. Why should he care? Once and for all, we will not support you in your personal quarrels. The deal we made with the Priory of Kingsbridge has the blessing of the King. Of course, Allez, and you would never toi. change your mind on that matter. Tell me, has your son returned from the Holy Land yet? We have not heard from him. Ever since he set out to join that crusade of yours. If he dies, your church will be responsible. Do not underestimate your son, Lady Hamley. That would be a great mistake. Chapitre 10. Ouais, il y a eu un bug, hein, je crois. L'ascension de King Bridge. Ok, donc on revient ici. Not long now and you'll have a ceiling. Wonderful. Then we will no longer have to hold our services in the crypt. You could even begin to plan the paintings for the wooden ceiling and the walls. Why a wooden ceiling? So the whole thing goes up in flames again? Philip decided on that because it's cheaper. And these walls can only hold the weight of a wooden ceiling. I love you like a brother, Alfred, but the apprentice shouldn't have to tell the master craftsman things like that. Jack, for once, focus on your work and finish it. Just for once. Or you'll stay an apprentice for the rest of your life. Don't argue again. Alfred is right. This is a house of God. <sighs> All right. Okay. Now, right, la where were we? You could start planning the paintings for the ceiling if you wish. Oh, putain, le Can con. we afford that at the moment? We are paying so many workers already. Allez, ça part. Father Philip, Tom Builder. Alfred. Ah, Aliena. Well, oh, yeah. I'll be moving my wool to Shiring today. Okay. The fleece fair starts tomorrow. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Milius voilà, and I have part. already arranged everything. We'd make much more of a profit if Percy Hamley had not raised the taxes this week. C'est pas fini, c'est pas fini. Again? Oh. oh. Je la regarde. Jonathan, you shouldn't wander off. Stay with us. Tom is right. You hear? He looks like a real monk. Omnius Pluvius. Nominee Patri Amen. 
That sounds like Latin, but it's not quite right yet. We would not have to worry about this if we could sell our wool here on our market. The king would have to grant us a license for that. And the Hamleys wouldn't like that, I'm afraid. They want the taxes from the fair in Shiring. Don't worry. We'll make a good profit. It's a good year. We've never moved this much wool as it is. Okay. <laughs> Tu regardes. Comment je continue à travailler Sérieux quoi uh, Oh, and I have to build a new storage house. Alfred is a master craftsman now. If you can pay him, he'll help you. Ah, very good. Nickel. If she hadn't a business of her own, I'd hire her to work for me. <laughs> she is something. She would make me a good wife. Oh, là, hey, come to. Hey. Ah. Hey, take that back. <laughs> what? What did I say? C'est ma femme. For the last time, stop your quarrelling. Philip, let's look at the plans again. There's a problem I have to discuss with you. All right. Take that back, Alfred. Jack, leave him alone. And for once, finish your work. Okay, and okay, Jack, okay. please keep an eye on Jonathan, will you? What? Why me? <laughs> finish your work, Jack. Are you serious, Jonathan? That's how it always was. But on that day, I didn't care. On that day, I was going to see Aliena. Oh, il a changé de voix. <laughs> and I was going to tell her how I felt. And nothing and no one would stop me. Okay. D'accord. Oh, bah putain. Donc faudra que je termine ça avant. Ça marche. Bon, eh bien, on va s'arrêter là. On a fait un gros épisode, je pense. Euh, ça doit durer au moins une heure ou une carrière comme ça. Et on continuera ce chapitre dans le prochain épisode. Donc je vous fais des bisous et à la prochaine tout le monde. Salut